Have you ever wanted to set up a MySQL database without managing servers or worrying about scaling? In this video, I'll show you how to create a MySQL database using PlanetScale, which is a modern platform that's built on MySQL, but with some serious upgrades. You'll learn how to create your database, apply schema changes safely, and connect it to your favorite tools. And if you want a quick reference for SQL syntax, don't forget to grab my free SQL cheat sheets. The link is in the description. Let's get started. PlanetScale is a MySQL compatible database platform. What makes PlanetScale different is that it gives you developer friendly features like branches for your schema, zero downtime deployments and scaling out of the box. If you've ever had to manually edit a live schema or deal with database locks during outages, you'll appreciate this setup. To start using PlanetScale, we need to create an account. To do this, click on the Get Started link on the top of the page here. You'll see the sign up page. Enter your email and set a password or use your GitHub account to create an account. I'll use GitHub because it's quick and it makes it easy to track schema changes later on. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the dashboard where we can start creating databases. Let's create a database called My App. This will be the backend for our application or demo project. To do this, click on the Create a New Database button. The organization here is set to be Brum, as that's my GitHub username. In the database name, enter a name for the database. I'll use the name of My App. For the region, select a region close to you. I'll pick the London one. For the storage options, you have two choices. I'll leave the default option selected, which is Amazon Elastic Block Storage. Next, we can select a cluster. These are combinations of CPU and memory allocations, which get larger as the prices go up. I'll select the smallest one here, which is PS10. Notice that there is no free cluster here. For the auto-scaling storage, I'll leave it as the default of 10 gigabytes. Because all of the plans are paid plans, you'll need to add a card to proceed. I'll do this now. An estimated monthly cost is shown here, which is handy. Once that has been entered, the Create Database button is enabled. Click Create Database. The database is now created. PlanetScale automatically creates a main branch for your schema. Think of this like your production branch in Git. It should always reflect your live database schema. We're not going to make changes directly on the main branch. Instead, we'll create a dev branch where we can safely write and test our schema changes. To do this, go to the Branches menu item here. Then click on New Branch. We'll give it a name of dev, which we can enter here. Click Create Branch, and the branch is created. It will say initializing for a moment, and then it will be created. This works just like a feature branch in Git. You can work in isolation and merge changes when you're ready. Now, we're currently viewing the dev branch. Let's write our first table schema. Next, click on the Open Web Console button down the bottom here. This is where we can write SQL statements to do many things, including create tables. Let's define a simple users table with a few common fields. This gives us a basic table with an ID, name, email, and a created at timestamp. Press enter to apply the changes. As you can see, I've got an error, so there is some built-in SQL validation here. We can see I've added a bracket here at the end, which shouldn't go there. To run this statement again, I can press the up button, go back and make the change, and press enter again. Now, we're not making changes to the main production schema yet. We're just preparing the changes. Click on the branches item on the left menu and we'll see all of our branches. Click on the dev branch and you'll see this branch page again. Now in the middle of the screen, instead of that message that says there is no schema, we can see a users table with our create table statement here. So far, so good. If you want a structured path to learn SQL from scratch, my course SQL Simplified teaches you how to go from blank page to confident SQL Pro, step by step using real examples. The link is in the description. Let's deploy our changes. To apply this schema to the production database, we use a deploy request. This is like a pull request in Git. It lets us review and approve changes before they go live. However, there's this little warning at the bottom of the page here about deploy requests, which says, to use deploy requests, safe migrations must be enabled on a branch. This is a recommended setting by PlanetScale. To turn this on, click on the Safe Migrations Not Enabled button here. On the pop-up, turn on the Enable Safe Migrations option. Then click on Save Branch Settings. This should now be turned on and you should now be able to create a deploy request to deploy our changes to the main branch. However, the message is still shown. 
This is because we also need to apply this safe migration option to the main branch. Let's do that now. Go to the branches item here and then go to the main branch. Click on the safe migrations button like we did for the dev branch. Then enable safe migrations, then click on save. This is now turned on for the main branch. Let's create a deploy request. To do this, click on the deploy requests tab. This is where the list of deploy requests will show, but we can't create any here. To create one, we need to open a branch. So we go to the dev branch and then scroll down to see this new section here on the right. We can enter some information about our new deployment. I'll enter in a simple description. Then click on the create deploy request button. A deploy request is created. Planet Scale will automatically generate a schema diff, which is a list of changes between the two schemas. This is so you can review what's going to be changed or added. Take a look at the changes here, which should be pretty straightforward, seeing as we're only adding one table. Then click Deploy. When you click Deploy, Planet Scale applies the schema change to the main branch with no downtime. No locks, no restarts, and no maintenance window. That's the real benefit of using this platform. Now let's connect to the database using an SQL editor or the MySQL command line. First, we need the connection details. We can find these by going to our main branch. Then we click on connect here. The first step is to create a password for our connection. To do this, click the create password button here. A password is created and shown on the screen here. Copy this password and store it somewhere safe as it won't be shown again. On the screen here, choose the client or framework you want to use. This is mainly used so you can get the right connection string for your programming language or framework. For this example, we can use the MySQL CLI and get what we need for MySQL Workbench from that. We can scroll down and see our connection string here. Now we can connect to the database. Open MySQL Workbench or your favorite SQL editor. I'll create a new connection by clicking this button here. On the new connection screen, we enter the details of the connection. For the connection name, I'll enter Planet Scale DB. Most of this information comes from the Planet Scale connection screen, so I'll go back to that page. The host name is the value here, after the letter dash H, so I'll copy that and then paste it here in the host name field. For the username, we can do the same thing. I'll copy this value after the U from the Planet Scale page and paste it in here. The password is also here, after the P, which is also the same value from further up on the screen. To add the password into MySQL Workbench, click on Store in Keychain and paste the password. It's now ready. I'll click Test Connection to check that I've got the details correct, and it has worked. If it hasn't worked, check that the details are correct and check that SSL is enabled on the next tab here. Now I'll click OK and the connection is saved. Let's connect to this database. Click on this new connection that we created. A new tab is opened and connected to the database. Let's confirm that the table exists. We can do this by writing select star from users. We can click execute and the query is executed. We should see our users table even though it's currently empty. Now that we've connected, let's insert some test data. We can write this simple insert statement to add a row to this table. We run this and we get an error here. We can try to run it again and it is successful. Next, we can run the select query from earlier to see what's in the table. We can see our record here. This proves the entire pipeline works, from creating the schema to inserting the data. If you're building an app, this is the point where you'd wire up your backend to start inserting and retrieving real data. Planet Scale seems like a pretty easy to use cloud database solution, and hopefully this video has helped you understand how to set it up. Now that you have your database set up, there's one thing you can do to improve how you write SQL queries. Watch this video to learn what it is and how you can do it. Thanks for watching.